wildfires out west and in Canada has been impacting our air quality here at home in southeast Minnesota. Northeast now air quality alert in place from now until 6 a.m. Thursday morning. That's almost for all of Minnesota and all of Wisconsin here again as we move towards Thursday morning. So if you are in the sensitive group here, uh, so as we look at people with severe asthma cases, any type of respiratory issues could potentially be impacted by some of the haze and smoke that we're dealing with with some wildfires and notice up north in northern Minnesota unhealthy in the red category there. So looking at dangerous conditions in northern Minnesota. So we have all these different wildfires taking place and notice we kind of just streamline a lot of the smoke right down into the north central and the southeastern portion of the state. Now, as we move through the rest of the night tonight, we'll continue to deal with some hazy conditions, so we will deal with that tonight by sunset. But as we move through Wednesday and then potentially gets a little better Thursday evening, that's why we have the air quality alert only running until 6 a.m on Thursday morning, so potentially getting a little safer, a little better air quality wise as we move through the evening hours. We'll still deal with some hazy conditions and some vibrant sunsets on the way the next several nights. So let's talk about those vibrant sunsets. Why is this happening here? So as we look at our visible light spectrum, a lot of us might have learned this growing up called Roy G. Biv. So we have our visible light spectrum. We have our long wavelength and then we have our short wavelength. Now what happens with the dust, the dust particles actually scatter those short wavelengths. So then what's left is the Roy portion, our reds, our oranges and our yellows. That's what's able to make it through the smoke particles and that then enhances our sunsets. That's why we've seen our sunsets be a little bit more red, orange and yellow due to the scattering of those short wavelengths, the greens, the blues, the indigos and violets the past several nights. Now we continue to deal with some hazy conditions across the area. Some of our Lewis and Otto live cameras temperatures currently here as we look downtown. We're at 86 degrees. Our dew points in the upper 60s. It feels a little muggy outside or feel like temperatures are at 90 right now outside. Current temperatures remaining in those mid 80s are dew points in those upper 60s and lower 70s. Even though we have temperatures at about 82 to 84 in Cresco and Charles City, it still feels uncomfortable with dew points in the lower 70s. We will filter in some cloud cover tonight. I do think we see some partly cloudy to even mostly cloudy skies at times as we continue to filter in some cloud cover. A chance for a very stray thunderstorm tonight, but most of us end up staying dry. I think we deal with some cloud cover tonight. Temperatures hold steady in the mid to upper 60s. As we move through your day on Wednesday, I think we deal with some mostly cloudy skies. Might hinder temperatures a little bit and another chance for a stray thunderstorm potentially as we move towards the rest of the week. 66 for the overnight low tonight, partly cloudy. Most of us end up staying dry tonight, tomorrow. 83 for the high, very isolated thunderstorm. Uh, again, I think most of that activity remains to the east of the Mississippi River. Seven day forecast, 87 for the high on Thursday, 89 on Friday. We get close to the 90s. Friday, Saturday and Sunday and boy temperatures and conditions will be a little uncomfortable as we move through the weekend with those dew points in the mid to lower 70s. Tom. All right, Nick.